Good morning, hi. Um, as promised, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial just to show how we're controlling ProPresenter videos using MIDI notes over Wi-Fi sent via Ableton, uh, which all sounds a little bit confusing. But um, I'll show you how it works first, uh, and then I will go into screenshots of some of the computers, show the settings, and how we've made it happen. So on my desk here, we've got a, a setup very similar to what's happening in our church. Uh, the MacBook Pro, Silver MacBook Pro, is running our loops from the stage on a Sunday morning, our Ableton setup. Uh, the black MacBook's running Pro Presenter at the back of the room, and then this screen uh, in the middle is going to be our same as our cinema screen for this morning's purpose. So if we come down here um, and go into Ableton, obviously that's usually done via a foot controller, but if I trigger off this loop and pan back, you'll see what's happening. So as that starts, you'll see Pro Presenter come to life, and then it sends out the message in there. And if you listen, you'll see that's all in time. And further down in my um, in this blog, I'll actually send a link to the video so you can see the video that we've made to go with the loop anyway. But I'll let it run just for a minute so you get an idea of what's happening. And obviously the click in the vocal cues will be rooted into our ears. These computers aren't connected in any way. Um, they're just both on the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, and when we trigger off that file um, in Ableton, it's sending a note over MIDI. Um, so I'm sending a MIDI note over the Wi-Fi, which is then being received by the black MacBook and converted into a, a keystroke that ProPresenter understands to trigger off the video in the middle. Okay, so that's basically how it's happening. Uh, and let me go into more details now to show you the settings that we've done to actually make it all work in time. First thing we do is make sure that both computers are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So in here it's on Brim Moore for part network, um, but in our cinema we actually use an Apple router to create a dedicated media network. Next thing we do is we go into uh, Apple's own audio MIDI setup. If you can't find this, it's in Programs, Utilities, uh, Audio and MIDI, and then click on the MIDI window. And this is where you would usually set up uh, and all of your MIDI devices. Go into Network, you'll see KP MacBook is enabled and we're connected to one called i61 church macbook and there's a network created between the two that allows us to send midi between both once that's done go back into your ableton live go into the preferences go into the midi panel and enable both uh, the kp network or whatever you've called it to be on in both the output and the input um, and then i've created a midi channel down here just by right clicking and saying create midi and crucially, the output of this goes to my new KP network and it goes on channel one. I then found the loop that I wanted, which in this instance is we are the free, and created a MIDI note that sits in here, uh, or a MIDI clip. Went into that MIDI clip and I've just programmed the note, which in this instance is E3 note, um, and that just triggers on the second, second bar and plays just one simple note, but crucially that note is outputting to that MIDI setting there. Once that's done, um, we're pretty much ready to go, and you go and change the settings on the other computer. So let me take you over there and show you that one. Okay, so this is the other computer. Uh, this is the computer that's now running ProPresenter at the back of the hall. So a few things we need to do to make sure the ProPresenter is ready to uh, receive that MIDI note and convert it. First thing is make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network, which this one is. Uh, the next thing is to go into the audio MIDI setup, um, again, with inside Programs Utilities. Go into network and make sure that it's connected to uh, the network which we've done. So as you can see this one is, K's MacBook Connect, and you can see that there's a network running now between the two. Um, so that's done on both computers and the network is there. Great, so we can come out of that page. We then um, bought and downloaded a program called Bones MIDI Translator Pro. And if we go into that one, you'll see that we've set up this rule. It's quite easy to do, you just follow this tutorial. Um, so if we scroll up a little bit, you'll see that we're telling it to look out for this particular MIDI note, uh, which translates as E4, um, and then to convert that, sorry, we've told it which port it's coming in on, which is this new i61 media port, and then once it receives that, to convert it to a keystroke, and that keystroke will be K. And once we've got that set, we can save that, and you can see that that just puts it in here as a, um, as a little rule, and we can have as many of these going as we like. Save that program, uh, and then minimize that one, the final thing we did was go into ProPresenter, load in the video, and assign it with a hotkey. So right-click on the slide, and we assigned it with the hotkey K. 
Brilliant, so now when Ableton is triggered off on my foot controller, it'll send a MIDI note over Wi-Fi. Uh, that MIDI note will be received by this computer and then converted to a K. So as soon as that happens and K is pressed, uh, the video then triggers off and is played. Uh, we just set the trigger um, exactly in the right place on Ableton so we knew by the time it would trigger, the video would be in perfect timing with our loop track. And that's pretty much all that we did. Um, I hope that helps. If there's any questions, get in touch. Uh, drop me an email. And um, hopefully you can use some of this technology again just to enhance some of your worship times. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.